morning, Emily. Good morning, Mrs. Pierce. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. I love your blouse, by the way. It really matches your complexion. Thanks, Peter. Ready for school? Hey, can I ask if you're free later? I'd love to take you out for some coffee or some ice cream. That's really sweet, Peter, but it's my daughter's birthday this weekend. I'm really pressed for time. Wait, can Mr. Peters come to my party, Mom? No, sweetie, this is, this is a kids-only party, no adults. But aren't some of your adult friends gonna be there? Yes, but those are Mommy's coworkers. They're from work. Sorry. You know, you can just say no. Excuse me? You can just say no instead of making up excuses. Peter, I'm really not in a place to be dating right now. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Have fun at school, Emily. Learn lots, okay? Okay, Peter, have a good day. Are you coming to my birthday party this weekend? Yeah, I can't wait. My mom said I can stay the night as well. Yay! Now it's gonna be you, Ari, Keely, and Sharon staying the night. Heck yeah, I'm excited. Are you inviting Chris? Yeah, I invited him. I hope he comes. You're gonna be 11 now. It's about time you have your first kiss. Do you think he'll come? Let's hope he does. That's my mom, I gotta go. See you tomorrow night. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, Emily. Peter! Oh my gosh, you scared me. What are you doing here? Sorry about that. I didn't mean to startle you. Your mom asked me to pick you up from school today. She did? That's weird. She's never done that before. Yeah, I know. But you know why? Because it's your birthday this weekend. She wanted to throw you an extra surprise birthday party and asked me to pick you up. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. She asked me to come get you and bring you to a secret location for the party. That's awesome! Yeah, so come on. Let's get out of here. Do you like ice cream? I love ice cream. We'll go get some. My favorite flavor is mint chip. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. We just follow this trail here and we end up at the secret hideout your mom picked for us. Are you sure this is the right way? Of course. I'm an adult. You can trust me. Have a seat. They're all going to show up in a bit and surprise you with gifts. Maybe I should just go home. Oh, ruin the surprise? Have a seat. It's every parent's worst nightmare, your son or daughter going missing. The thought alone might even bring chills down your spine. With the internet and cell phones being so available these days, it's super important that you talk to your children about safety. Honey, I want you to stay away from Peter, okay? Why? He's so nice. There's just something about him I don't trust. And that doesn't just apply to him. That goes for any adult that's not me. Do you understand me? 
Yeah, yeah. I'm serious, Emily. Don't. Do not trust other strangers. Not all adults are good adults. And unless I say so, I'm the only one that's going to be picking you up from school. Okay? Okay, Mom. Hey, Emily. Peter! Oh my gosh, she scared me. What are you doing here? Sorry about that. I didn't mean to startle you. Your mom asked me to pick you up from school today. She did? That's weird. She's never done that before. Yeah, I know. But you know why? Because it's your birthday this weekend. She wanted to throw you an extra surprise birthday party and asked me to pick you up. Well, I should give her a call because she told me to not go with anyone that's not her. Emily, didn't you hear me? It's supposed to be a surprise party. We don't want to ruin it. But that doesn't really make sense because I'm already having a party on Saturday. Emily, why don't you just hop in my car and I'll give you a ride home. Let's get on out of here. Come on. We'll go get some ice cream. My mom told me to call the police if anyone is bothering me. No, no, no. You don't need to do that. I'll just get on out of here. Hey, Mom. Peter showed up at my school and told me you asked him to pick me up today. He did what? You know, you often hear stories about children going missing, and you always think to yourself, well, that would never happen to me, or that would never happen to my child. You know, it's something that you see out in movies, but not real life. But the truth is, guys, you only have to be wrong once. If you're wrong once, it ruins your entire life. It can ruin your children's life. So it's super important that you talk to your kids about safety and about talking with strangers. Not to mention, over 76% of children kidnappings happen between a family member or a family friend. It means it's somebody in your inner circle that's doing this. It's not some random stranger. So it's super important that you talk with your children about child safety and about trusting strangers or not trusting strangers. Guys, we just want to say a big thank you for passing through that 300,000 subscriber mark. YouTube hasn't even sent us our 100,000 subscriber plaques yet, and we are just absolutely blowing past YouTube's algorithm. And honestly, it's all thanks to you guys. Like, we do not exist without you guys as fans, so we just want to say a big thank you. Dylan and I are super grateful for you guys. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. I'll put the links in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love. I love you. We love you too.